We can perceive the experience, but not the experiencer. Hundred percent. Can only experience and thought can only exist. That makes any sense. Now the conversation. Uh, yeah. No, I agree with what you say. Yeah. Wife. Yeah. The tree. You know what I mean. Yeah. Otherwise, we we would go to the um and uh, the non-manifested, mm -hmm. which I love that part. Mm -hmm. I think this is totally relevant. Yeah, yeah. That's where you always are, though. When, when they talk about God you're not manifested. Oh yeah. Because for there to be a manifestation, that means it has to be two again. So, That's be something creating something else. We remember when we talked earlier about being asleep, completely asleep, mm. not dreaming, not thinking. Deep sleep, yeah. That. Mm. Yeah, but you're always That's there. Perfection. You're always there. No, you're no not. but remember what I, I don't even remember what I said. What I said last week is, you can understand that right now all the time. And in the so-called awakening state, yeah, yeah. like I am. Yeah. I can't go to that. No, 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 no. Because it, it, what I'm saying, brother. What I'm saying, brother. Hours. What I'm saying. It's not a location. You don't travel to it. It's as soon as you stop identifying with thoughts, these thoughts and feelings as Ivan yes. character. Yes. Yes. It's revealed. You're always that. If I take this camera array and pull it over here, yeah. did I change the space? Of course not. If I knock down a house, I haven't killed space. So, so in this analogy, of course, the, um, the house is thoughts or experience and identity. And the space is the pure awareness. That's why I like using space as an example, because it's just like the formlessness of pure awareness. Would you say the whole thing is perfect? Is perfect? From the ultimate under level, yeah. Really? From the ultimate level, yeah. Do, uh, thoughts? No. Thoughts will say no. I would say perfection is non-manifestation, non-existent. That's perfection. Yes, but... No, that's my view. No, I hear that, but no, remember... No, no, painting. No, no, no. No painting, not even mm. canvas. But remember what I just said. No, I hear you. But remember what I said. From the ultimate level, there is no you and me. Yeah, so then everything is is you. It's fine, perfect. Yeah, there is no contrast. Yeah. Do you know what no I'm saying? Right, wrong, just yeah. Perfect. Right. Absolutely. It's only a mind or thoughts that will seemingly dissect what I is on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I'm just pulling you back when you go off to the the uh, the other place. Cause you get it, but then the mind is coming back and oh, saying, yeah, yeah, but, 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 and I get it. Be there all the time. No, no, you are that. Right now, I mean, let's give an example. Right now, example. Right now, example. Right now, yes, I'm. Yes, yes, I'm telling you that. There's no you time anyway. I'll give you an example right yes. now. I'll give you an example right now. Okay. Let's say okay. In between each thought, what are you? Okay. Remember. Yeah, again, because that pure consciousness yeah, or pure awareness, pure whatever you want to call it, has moment. yeah, but it has to always be there because it has to, because it is aware of the thoughts coming and going. The yes, the base. It's a substratum. It's the aware of the thoughts coming and going. Yeah. So you're always that. It's just thought. It's so convincing. When is the thought coming? Thought. What comes out of us, of course. Us. Or, us meaning that pure awareness. Yeah. It's like the cure and the. No again, it's no, again, it's only thought. No, because mind, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying mind is negative at all. If it wasn't for mind or so-called ego, sense of a personal self, we couldn't even have this conversation. Because there'll be no contrast of so-called duality. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So this is the beauty of it. 